Hey guys, Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics here. Hey, we're going to do a real short video today. Well, I don't know how long it's going to take me, but what I want to test out is this new manual gun cleaning solution for waterborne or water-based paints. Uh, I use Aqualac. Um, it is a very stingy waterborne paint. I mean, it grabs a hold of just about everything it gets a hold of, and if it dries out, this gun here, I actually went to the theater tonight, enjoyed uh, a movie with my wife, been spraying this gun here for five hours so it's got five hours of residue in it you can see that right there there's goo everywhere okay all right so we're going to test this out properly okay this particular is is the uh, manual gun cleaning solution there they do make another one i'm not sure if it's rain two or rain whatever it is for your uh gun cleaning station okay but a completely different uh uh, system or, or, or uh, formula. This here I added 10 liters of water which gives me a 10% 5% no it gives me 10% ratio which is the strongest that it recommends. I could have filled this up to five gallons but I've got an old acetone can that I rinsed out and cleaned out and blew out so there wasn't anything in it and I've got it about half full so I've got 10 liters plus this one bottle so it should go a long ways. All right, I've got my solution in here, okay? And I'm gonna move the camera and put it right over the top of this here so you guys will be able to see as I'm cleaning how fast or slow this product works, okay? And then I'll get back with you at the end here, okay? So hold tight and I'll move the camera. All right, guys, I don't know how this is gonna work, so let's just test it out on something simple. This here is my cork can pour. This has been on there since Four hours ago at least okay see it's right here and right back here now if this was normal soap and water application it would take me quite a while so let's just see what we got okay there it goes it's starting to break it down actually this is a very soft sponge I use but I use it for my guns Gets in all the nooks and crannies and a little bit of left residue, but dang. And you guys know that use Aqualac, how tough this stuff is to get off of there. Got a little bit over here. A little bit right there. Very soft brush. Like I said, I could be pressing on it and probably come right off with a harder. Matter of fact, one second. All right, here's your regular paint cleaning brush, okay? You got firm bristles. Yeah, it just knocks it right down. This is going to be a really sweet one. Get it in the groove there where you get a little bit of the residue. Wow. Rinse it off. She's done. I don't think I'm going to like this here, but let's tear apart this gun and see what it does, okay? Normally I elevate this can here so I can put as little amount as possible in there. Um, and it keeps it all down here. Don't have to put so much material in there. And I like to clean this out so I'm not dragging stuff through the gun. Just my little thing. Okay. Kind of get the outside all sloppy here. I use you got to you got to have a, a brush that's got a bristle on the end of it, okay, to go inside this orifice here and it gets to the back of the spraying area where the, the air distribution is or it's moving around you get little critters back there and I like to use this around the perimeter too and then down in here I will go to a bigger brush I like to get the threads too down here on this side just in case some paint is moved back while I'm adjusting the fluid 
Okay, and then I've got this little one here, and it's a little bit wider. Gets back inside there, does a nice job for me. Now on this particular one, with this soapy solution, um, I would just take it over to the hose and rinse it off. And that's what I'm going to do. There you go, guys. It's a beauty. I got a little foam still in there, but man, that did a nice number on it. Alright, this is the bad one right here, okay? See that? It's got goo stuff all over it. Now let's get our firm bristle brush like normal people would do. Give it a little moving around. And we're gonna get our soapy foamy stuff anyway uh, I could finish off this whole thing but you don't want to watch me clean my gun maybe you do got to have this long one with the bristles on the end of it in, in for this uh, this cap right here okay not the cap but the uh, yeah you know what I'm talking about it's inside those little things there and then a lot of times what I'll do is I'll run the real thin one through here if I'm really, if maybe my spray is not right or whatever, but I don't need to right now. Okay, that one's done. Anyway, this brush is a parts brush, okay? It's used for cleaning uh, automotive parts with a, in a solvent tank. I've been using it for a year now, and it's probably 15 years old, and... Uh, the bristles are perfect on it. I don't know. They made, a, they made a nice brush. I'll probably have a hard time finding it again. Okay, we'll do that, that. Where's my needle? All right, where is my needle? There it is. Wow. Okay. Let me rinse this stuff off. All right, guys, there you go. All the parts are sparkling, shiny, clean. I am impressed with this stuff. All right, let me give you the name again. Which way are you looking there? Let's go this way. Rain 2. Uh, you can look it up online. This is for the manual gun cleaner. And like I said, if you want to put this stuff in your uh, gun cleaning station, Get the other product for it, and I think you're going to be happier than heck with this product, okay? Because I know I am. I have finally found something that worked on waterborne paint, and I'm going to stick with this stuff. Anyway, this is Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics. Guys, have a wonderful day, and if there's, uh, if you like this uh, video here, hit the like button on it. And if you, uh, it just tells me, you know, videos that you guys like to see, and it keeps me kind of in the, the right context of what you guys are enjoying. Um, Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics, we're out.